Today I'm looking at the new Thrunite T12 Pro. It's a slim form factor 18650 light that's optimized for throw and tactical applications with the switch on the back as well as the switch on the front. It can serve as an EDC roll as well for those that prefer the tail cap switch and the turbo shortcut. Thanks to Thrunite for sending this to me to look at and review and show you guys. And I'll have a link to where you can pick up the light in the description below along with my socials. I'm really trying to build my TikTok account so I can do live streams and stuff because that seems a pretty good place to do that that's pretty popular so make sure to follow me if you have a TikTok account so here is the packaging that it comes in very standard through night stuff here I won't go on about it much you get a number of accessories you have a bag here with your extras your lanyard you get an extra port cover a couple extra o-rings and your lanyard you get a USB A to USB C charging cable and you get a holster here which the light fits into reasonably well you do have the 18650 3500 milliamp hour through night battery inside a pocket clip and then the manual design and construction the tn12 pro is made of hard anodized 6061 aluminum and features a mechanical switch in the rear here and then an, it's got a textured button there and then it's got wings to kind of protect the button as well as your lanyard attachment points there the pocket clip here mounts only at the rear and is reasonably deep carry, but not super deep carry. The body itself here has deeply milled small lines. Uh, these pick up dirt, I found just dirt from your hands and skin and are fairly aggressive, but not so much they're gonna tear up things. The body section is glued to the head section of the light, so it does not come unscrewed. You've got the standard through night button and electronic switch there with a LED indicator in the middle for voltage. A Little bit of style, heat sinking, really not probably very functional you have the USB-C port in the back the head is pretty standard here it's lightly crenulated so when you turn it on it does allow a little bit of light to leak it's not sharp you've got an anti-reflective coated lens there a smooth deep reflector and then the LED there is minimal branding on the light just your required markings and your serial number there and then on the front side just the Thrunite TN12 Pro one note on the naming here Thrunites traditionally use that TN naming for lights that don't have onboard charging and then use TC for lights that had onboard charging they throughout history though when naming the light here as it's a TN but it does have onboard charging so kind of confusing you've got a number of retention options as I mentioned you've got the lanyard here but as you know I'm not a huge lanyard guy so I'll leave that off you do have the uh, holster here which works pretty well I think this is a generic holster that through nights used for other lights it is branded it's got elastic sides plastic d-ring and a belt loop it's decent and then you've got the pocket clip here which is more my style it is a double direction pocket clip so you can use it to put onto a brim of a hat if you wanted to to use it as a headlamp although it's not going to be the lightest doing that and it's a reasonably deep carry not super deep carry so okay for edc but not the best out there for size and weight i measure the light at a length of 5.15 inches minimum diameter at 0.94 maximum diameter at one inch i measure the weight at 5.07 ounces with the battery and the clip and through night rates the tn12 pro is drop resistant to 1.5 meters and ipx 8 water rated the main competitor here is going to be the Olight Warrior Mini 2 as I've seen here and the Warrior Mini 2 is going to be smaller and lighter in all directions than the TN12. I do have a Wukos FC11 here that I kind of like to use as my reference light for a lot of things too. You can see the TN12 is larger and these all run 18650s. And I've got a picture here of a couple other through night lights to compare it to. So for LED and beam, the LED being used here is the Luminous SFT40 LED in cool white. I measured it with my opal meter at 6000K 65 CRI. It's a flat top LED in a relatively small package. And the resulting beam is a small hot spot, a small hot spot with minimal spill. And this is a pretty good indicator of it. You can see there just a hot spot and very, very minimal spill. My night shots coming up here will show it too. Throw is this light's main thing and it does that well out to a claimed 3,800 meters. Some people have complained with coil whine on high mode, but it's not something I can personally hear here. I don't know if that's my ears or I got a good flashlight. There is PWM here, but it's very fast. For my output measurements, uh, here's a chart for the measurements that I did with my DIY lumen tube. Everything was pretty close except turbo. I couldn't quite reach the 1900 lumens. I'm not 100% sure if that's my tube or the flashlight itself. Most other lights have tested pretty close to where I'd expect them to be, so I, I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, here are my night shots for the Thrunite TN12 Pro. This is a 6... 
5000 Calvin Luminous SFT40 LED. And here it is in low, which is 50 lumens. And this is a thrower light. And that's why you've got that hot center. And even at 50 lumens, it's doing a good job of illuminating my fence. And doesn't go a whole lot further than that. Probably 50, 50 yards, maybe a little more. Bumping up here is medium, which is 220 lumens. Easily sees to the end of my neighbor's fence there, which is probably 75 yards, I'd guess. And my naked eye can just see the trees across the street, uh, which the camera's having a hard time picking up. But again, that nice hot center. Here is high, which is 550 lumens. You can see the trees across the street there easily. Does a nice hot spot there easily lights up the neighbor's fence and here is turbo which is the full 1900 lumens again easily lights up the trees across the street you can even see the building that's over there this is a thrower light good to about 380 meters and while i don't have that much space here i can tell you that it easily does that light that i have that's most similar to this is the olight warrior 2 mini 2 which i got here 1750 lumens 220 meters of throw the big difference with the olight is it's a lot wider beam here and you can see that it has a hard time reaching across the street with that versus here's the through night easily reaches across the street huge difference in these two this is the through night and here is the olight huge difference here much better thrower with the through night for heat and run time here i'm going to let the graphs do most of the talking here and just point out a few highlights. Turbo runtime was good for about two minutes, jumping from near 1800 lumens to around 800. And it looks like thermal regulation kicked in, reaching a peak of 56C. There is one more step down to 400 lumens gradually out to the seven minute mark. And I think that's where Through Night's getting that runtime of seven minutes of turbo. Turbo and high here had very similar output curves with the only difference being really where they started at. Medium mode ran past six hours and in the mode, in all modes, the light runs at a relatively low or firefly for several hours after it stops. UI here is similar to through night standard UI, but with direct access to turbo on the tail and kind of your normal modes up front. Long press from off to go to firefly and it comes on here, you have to long press again to turn it off. You cannot Firefly go directly to low. Once in low, you can press and hold to cycle up between low, medium, and high, low, medium, and high. So all pretty standard there. You can double press to go to turbo and triple press to go to strobe. One thing I did notice what I think is maybe a firmware bug is then when you're in medium mode here, and if you leave the light for a few seconds, if you hit the button again, expecting to bump up to high, it bumps down to low, as you'd see here. Like I said, I think this is probably a firmware bug. Recharging here is accomplished via the USB-C port here on the backside. As you can see, it's down there pretty nicely covered. I'm using my Evatronics charger here. The light is full, so I don't expect to see a big number, but it charges via USB-C to C or USB-C PD, which is great to see. That's becoming the standard. Max charge rate I saw was 1.7 amps without an issue near the constant current phase and total charge time of the included 3,500 milliamp hour battery from low voltage protection at 2.93 volts was two hours, 46 minutes. Full charge measured 4.18 volts. The port cover here is worth mentioning and it fits in there okay, but what I find is this uh, back part here doesn't fit in. It's kind of a dovetail design, and I've found that if I, I have to kind of push in and push up to get it to seal in, it doesn't just push down and stay. And once it's down, it's decent, but I find that a little tab makes it easy to come out and it's a little hard to put in. So I think that design could be a little better. My final thoughts are that I have mixed feelings on the TN12 Pro. It's not radically different from other models, but it's a pretty good value if you're looking for a throwy 18650 with small, with onboard USB-C charging, cool white, and instant on turbo via the tail cap. For me, it doesn't really meet my EDC needs, but this isn't really where the design was focused. I feel like it's more on the tactile side of things with EDC being a secondary thought. I've had a little bit of a hard time putting on the port cover as I showed you and keeping it in place there. I think the silicone is just a little bit too long and I hope they kind of revise that when they revise the firmware bug too. Overall, this is a good value light right now with the coupons that are being offered on the Amazon page for a complete kit. If this niche is what you're looking for, I think you'll be happy with it. However, this isn't different enough that I would rush out and buy it if I had previous versions of a light or a light that did something similar. Overall, a pretty good product. Thanks guys for watching this video. 
As always, I appreciate you liking and sharing these if you found it valuable. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the TN12 if you've got one, and I'll catch you on the next review soon. Thanks for watching.